Hello and welcome back to the Knuckleheads Podcast. I'm Andy. And I'm Mandy. And Mandy has to tell you about our last podcast. Here you go with a recap now. Okay, so basically what happened is we had... Shut uh, the bra- fuck up. Okay. All right, now it's my turn. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> go recap us on what our episode five was. All right, so basically we had the famous Broccoli Man on. We got to know him a little bit. We just basically rambled on about ourselves and our past, how we met and whatnot. So if you're interested in meeting Broccoli Man, go check out our last episode. Yeah, um, Broccoli Man's really cool, real good friend of ours. Um, I think it, it was a really good episode with him. I think so. I think it was one of our best. Yeah, and if really you would fun. like to have him on again, uh, let us know. I mean, honestly, uh, we're probably planning to have him on again soon. I mean, this is we're lumping all these um, episodes into like seasons. I don't know how many episodes we're going to do per season, and I don't know if we should have them like, once per season, or if you guys... You know, want we can have multiple season, uh, multiple multiple times in a single season. Figure but it we out. wanted to do that for episode five because it was like I don't know, kind of like a milestone ish. Mm-hmm. But um, as you can tell, we've been <laughs> uh delayed on making this podcast. Um, literally, we got obsessed with something that we'll talk about. Uh, you know, we'll just talk about first, whatever. I know it wasn't part of the plan, but. We got stuck playing Roblox. I know, out of all the games. I know. Well, to be fair, it was mainly you who got obsessed, and then you started getting me into it. Right. So actually, this kind of segues from Broccoli Man in in a weird way. So um, when I first met Broccoli Man, um, we should have probably talked about this, but we we did play Roblox. and Maybe we did mention it, but the game that we played was called uh, Bee Swarm Simulator. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people probably think this, this is a stupid, stupid game. But for some reason, it's just a nice game for me to play, or it was a nice game for all of us to play, mm-hmm. um, just to kind of relax, nothing like super intense, but it was just a nice casual game to be doing shit in um, while just talking. Like, you didn't yeah. have to really concentrate too much on what you were doing, um, while also having a lot of objectives and whatnot. So simulator games like that are usually just kind of peaceful. Um, and, you know, sometimes if, I, if I'm tired or I don't really feel like gaming, like, I feel like it's a good game. Um, so the three of us were hooked on it for a while, and, and um, uh, Aaron, Broccoli Man, Aaron, um, was, was, like, pretty high level at the time, like, compared to us, because we just started. Um, and then he didn't play as often, but me and Amanda, like, played consistently. Yeah. Uh, and this is going, this is all the way back in 2020. And we played a lot, um, and then we surpassed him, and then we took a break from the game. Um, and we didn't really touch it too much since then. Maybe like one one time during 2021, we had a resurgence. It was just me and Amanda playing, and then we stopped. It wasn't that long. And then uh, recently, I was kind of bored. I didn't know what to really play, because um, uh, Call of Duty uh, Vanguard Season 1 ended. Uh, and they kept extending the season for some reason. So I was like, what can I play? And then I said, let me go play this game, because, like, you know, I I was just kind of bored. And now, keep in mind, I know that I should have maybe tried to play one of the more intense games I have, but I just was curious to see what was going on. And I forgot that there was a whole Christmas event that they do, um, and it usually extends into, like the be- like, first week of February or something. So I started playing when there was like six or seven days left in the event. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I first started playing when there was like 20 days left in the event. Um. So I said, oh. And then I found out that the last quest uh, uh from the event quest gives you something pretty cool. Something that I remember from the last time I was playing, I was trying to save up a lot of in-game like currency for. Um, so I said, oh shit, if I could just get it for free, like, I may as well do that. So Amanda was doing her own thing, and I was just mm-hmm. playing this game, and it was going fine. And then, new Call of Duty season drops, and I got hooked on playing that, and then we just, and then we and then we also started watching, um, some movies, and then I just completely forgot about Beast Swarm Simulator. And then all of a sudden I remembered it, and I said, oh shit, how many days are left on the event? 
And then that's when I saw that there were six days left. So I was like, oh, fuck, I want to do this. Now, Amanda, at this point, still didn't care. But I said, I want to fin- see if I can finish this quest in six days. So I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. I'm playing a lot. I'm playing consistently. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm gonna- it's, like, taking me forever, but I'm going to do this. Some quests required me to have another person help. Mm-hmm. And that's when I said, Amanda, can you just, like, hop on real quick to help me? So like, she helped me once, then she helped me twice, and then she hopped off. And then the third time I asked her, like, to help me, she kept playing. I'm like, oh, why are you playing? It's like, I don't know. I'm kind of getting back into this. And then soon enough, we're both just grinding the fuck out of this game again. And in these six days, it was just been so intense. And on, like, the like second to last day, I finally got the challenge done. But Amanda was still going. Yeah. And then we looked at the time, and then due to events... There was just one day left, and due to the quests, like, some of them take hours, she couldn't finish it realistically in time. So she said, I, I give up on it. And then they extended another 30 days. Yep. But that takes and we still up... haven't played <laughs> since then. We played once. Yeah. But that's taken us, so, like, the sixth day, or when, when the sixth day ended before the extension, that was literally the beginning of this week. Mm-hmm. So that's when, like, the craze about that game died down. Um, so that's when we said, all right, let's stop getting distracted. Let's make this podcast, you know, and we're, we're going to try to do better with it. And I've also keep telling myself to do like record a video or stream a video. And I just, I just keep forgetting for some reason. And I, I don't know why. You just <laughs> don't want lazy. to sometimes. I'll be like, let's like record this. You're like, oh, but we still have to figure no, what, So out. Amanda suggested to record a game called Arsenal. And it's another Roblox game, so... Yes. But at first I was like, no, like, no one's going to watch that. But then I was like, you know what, all right, maybe we should do it. Because actually, Arsenal can be kind of hectic, because there's a lot of tryhards. But, like, the one reason why I like it is, like, the gun selection is kind of unique. Like, sometimes you get a fucking pizza gun, and you just throw slices of pizza at people. So I think it could be funny, because we've when we've played on our own, we just had a lot of screaming matches and stuff. So I think it's pretty fun. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I wasn't opposed to it recently. I, I said at first, no, but then I said, okay, sure. And then we just kind of both forgot about it. I think. Yeah. But I'm down to record that okay. and see how it goes. All right. But yeah, that's, <laughs> that's just a, a recap of as to why we've been kind of stinky with the making a podcast, but don't worry. We haven't died yet. Yeah, yeah. I'm almost but, um, there. My allergies just, like, randomly started acting up right, like, literally a minute before we started recording. Yeah. So. They, they basically, your body doesn't want you to do this. Uh, no, it's because of fucking Jack and his fucking problems. Right. So, <sighs> that leads us to our next topic about Jack. Yeah. So, um, I don't, did I mention him and his problems on here before i don't think so i'm not sure to be honest well basically so jack is our youngest kitty he just turned a year on february 14th so he's a valentine's day baby but for the past few months or yeah it's been like maybe six months now he's been constantly scratching at his neck and face so we took him to the animal hospital like a 24 7 like emergency animal hospital and they were basically like, well, we have a dermatologist coming in the next day. We we, we were there for like two hours, I think. Maybe an hour and a half. Mm-hmm. Um, and so they're like, come in tomorrow at 8 o'clock a.m. So I'm like, fuck. All right, sure. So we bring him in. And she's like, well, he has some sort of skin disease that like affects just the head and neck. It was like head neck tightness or something like that. And then um, they wanted to see what kind of allergies he had. So we've been giving him one, two, three different, four different types of medicines. And he's just getting worse and worse. So I have to call again tomorrow and just be like, what the heck? Like, we had to get him, like, his own food, which is like $140 just for canned and dry food. So, I don't know, he's just not getting better. And it's sad because he's just always scratching. Like, he's bleeding all over. He just... He won't stop. And I quote, the uh, doctor said, uh, quote, 
He looks like an old man. Yeah. Because he, he's scratching all of his hair off. So you just see, like, his skin and, like, the little wrinkles and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, it, like, we're trying our best. We give him his medicine every day. Like, It's just the fact that he doesn't have a cone. So. Well, we did try putting a cone on him. And then the cone was irritating his neck even well, more. Well, that was before all the medication. Yeah. Because when Amanda brought her to the vet. Mentioned the cone, the vet, or whatever, the doctor said, give him the medicine, don't give him a cone, because you said it irritated him, but honestly, But the other problem with the cone was, he was scratching around it anyways. It depended, because you had two cones. It was both. I don't, I think the plastic one was doing better, though. But the plastic one was the one that irritated his neck more. But he was still getting around to scratching his face and his ears. So the cone didn't really stop anything. The, I think we just need a better cone. Like, one that doesn't irritate his neck, and one that's a little bit longer so he can't scratch. Because I think what also didn't work about the plastic cone, aside from the irritation, there were, like, three little holes on there for some reason. So when he scratched, or tried to scratch, he would rotate the cone. So every so often, his nail probably got through the hole and scratched his neck. Too. Maybe, but the problem is mainly around his face. Like it's just. Oh yeah, but I feel like when the plastic cone was on him, his ears were doing a little bit better. Yeah, when I got up with my nose, I'm sorry. Okay. <sighs> I tried but... to move my white my mic away, but it's okay. <sighs> I still heard it. But um, but yeah, um, I think there has to be a cone that can help. Like, well, she gave me a recommendation, so I'm gonna have to look into it and see right. if I can order order it. But like, just even trying to get his food was so fucking complicated because it's like this special like food for allergies, and I had to like get it through Chewy because like it's gone everywhere else. Mm-hmm. And then like they needed the vet's like permission to like send us the food, so it took like over a week for us to actually get the fucking food. Right. So we have to find out if one this new cone will help prevent him from scratching and two if whatever medicine is being given to him is actually working um well yeah we'll call her tomorrow and talk to her about it because it could be a combination of both things yeah i mean obviously him scratching is not helping Well, one medicine is literally we're giving it to him to help him not scratch like make the itch go away but he, yeah, if he's not, not sleeping, working. he's scratching. You know, like I don't know what to do anymore. Yeah, so. that's why I said just ask the doctor. The doctor, and I think like I you gave it a decent amount of time. It's been like two weeks, I think, since yeah. we went. So I think, and also the fact that you you said he's getting worse. So I think it's a good time to ask the doctor, like, hey, we need to yeah. change the plans. Here. Well, hopefully we can figure something out tomorrow, because obviously the whole thing with the food, I've seen that's the allergy, that's going to take up to 12 weeks. Yeah, I, I wouldn't give up on the food. I think yeah, it's no, we're definitely that medicine yeah. you mentioned that's supposed to stop the itching. That doesn't seem like it's working. Yeah, so... I just hope the other medication's working, though, that's actually getting rid of the infection that he has. I don't know. Even if, let's say, he got rid of the infection, he's scratching up his face all over again. So who's to say it's not going to come back? At least least one thing is hopefully being resolved. Like, I hope it's not that nothing is working. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Otherwise, that was a waste of a $500 visit. But, yeah, I know, and it, it, that's what also sucks. This next visit, if she asks you to come in again, you're gonna have to spend even more money to, yeah, you know, get him on a different track or whatever. Yeah, well, we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. But that's that's what it's like taking care of your pets. You know, you you go into it knowing that there's a chance that something like this could happen. But... Yeah, I I just I feel so bad for him. Like he's just. You know, he's always scratching or licking at his paws and his head and his face. Yeah, and... that's what we noticed yesterday, too. Like, this is us- this has been going on for a while, and it's usually around his face and neck. But yeah. I noticed yesterday for the first time, because, like, he always licks his paws or his arms. I didn't know. His arms are fucked up, too. Yeah, his front ones. I didn't know it was all the way there, too. That's what. Well, it's not crazy. really. I think more he's trying to, like, groom himself so he can, like, paw at his face. 
So like he'll lick his paws and then like rub behind. I mean, his ear. I looked at it briefly. It just looked like I saw like a straight line going down, his, like both of his arms that were like missing hair. I don't and, think. And like it looked. Oh, red. that's behind, like behind his leg. Yeah. Well, that's he. He said that since he was a baby. Okay, I, I thought that was new. Let me see your new paw. I have him right here. Like, like behind the paw, though, like going up his arm. Yeah, no, I don't feel anything. I know what you're no, talking it's not about, feel, though. It's what just seen. No, I know, but he has that on his back leg. Like, Stress was. He's had that since he was a baby. Right, my okay. little boy? Yeah. Alright. Next well, topic. <laughs> yeah. To move on to some lighter news. So, I mentioned a couple podcasts ago that I finally got a Switch. Um, yeah, it was very. it's very late probably for me to be getting a Switch, considering its life cycle, but it's still a great console, and I, I'm so happy to have it. Um, me and Amanda did go to a GameStop not that long ago, and I was really tempted that day to buy um, a new game, mm-hmm. like Mario Party or something. Um, but I didn't because I didn't know if it was worth it to buy another game or another controller because I know that the Joy Cons can be used as controllers, but they're so annoying to use as like controllers because they're so tiny. Yeah. So I was like, I'm not sure if it was more worth it to get a controller, but the controllers are just about as much as a game, if not like ten dollars more. Uh, that's if you get a wireless one, and then there's wired ones, and I was tempted to get that, but then like the the thing has to be on a dock. I think it said. But, I mean, not going to lie, like, I probably if I was playing with more than one person, I would probably dock it anyway. So that wouldn't be a huge concern. But I, I just didn't know what to do. I already, like, spent a lot of money that day, like, shopping, because <laughs> we, were, we were at the mall. Yeah. So that that was kind of my my mistake um, and, and whatnot. So I, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking of getting a new game. But going back to Mario Kart, um, so I've been playing the game for a bit. I'm not not like every day, but I've been. Uh, so with the Switch version, I don't know if I mentioned this prior, but the game Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, you know, came out for the Wii U, and um, when the Switch came out, they released it for the Switch. But I don't know why, but Nintendo made it so that um. Everything, like I'm not everything. All the characters were unlocked for you. I I remember playing Mario Kart Wii, and I loved unlocking the characters. I know this game's different, and you can unlock, you know, the carts and the wheels and the the whatever the gliding stuff. But like, even though that stuff is cool, like the characters are a big part for me as well. Like I remember playing Mario Kart Wii and being so excited when I unlocked Dry Bowser. Um, especially because back then, at least as a kid, I didn't know you could just look up how to do it. I would just play guessing, like, how, you know, really games should be played. Like, you know, you shouldn't um, look up things here and there. Like, sometimes I do that because, like, you know, it's like, oh, how do I do this? Like, I really want to know. Like, I genuinely unlocked every character on my own back then. And I, I was just like, oh, I want to do that again with this game. But I can't because... Uh, they they did it for me, but so like I got curious like you know maybe there are there is like a hidden character or something so I I had uh, unfortunately you know I'm kind of like going back on my point but it's like uh because I, I I wanted to know it's like you know is there someone else you could still get and I figured it would be you know beating the maps but I wanted to know like for sure like is it true that the game already pre-unlocked everything for me or is there something that i can still do so i guess in that scenario it was a little different so i looked it up just to be sure and probably those of you who play the game already know but golden mario is the thing in the game so i saw how to do it and it's basically getting um three stars on every cup on 200 cc which is the hardest difficulty um i've really been struggling it's weird because I said, you know what? Let me do it right off from the bat. Like, let me just play 200 CC. Like, not even play, you know, the 50 CC. So, not even learn any of the maps. Let me just go right into it. First cup I played was Mushroom Cup, which is technically the easier cup. Um, and I did it somehow. I managed to get three stars. So I said, oh, this shit's gonna be easy. And then like I just couldn't do anything after that. So yeah, then I started going, I played everything on 50 CC, got three stars, everything on 100 CC. Currently I'm on 150 CC. 
And I don't know, I feel like the jump from 100 to 150 was kind of drastic because everything's, I mean, I know it's supposed to be more aggressive, but it's drastically more aggressive. You literally, I, it's been happening to me so many times, countless times on the third or fourth race, I'm about to cross the finish line and I get hit with a red shell and then two people zoom past me and I'm like, are you kidding me? Now I got to do this all over again. Like, I don't know, the, 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 like the whole race, I'm not bothered. And then like at the very end in the last lap, I'm bothered and it's so annoying. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like challenging. So I'm going to go for it. But mm-hmm. uh, yeah, me and Amanda have played it a couple of times, brought it over to her, her house. Um, it's been pretty fun, but again, going back to the controller thing, it's kind of annoying using yeah. the little little Joy Cons. Hurts my fingers. I'm sure it hurts yours too. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, it would just be nice to have like a the pro controller or, or it's like like I'll use the Joy Cons on the on the docking thing for the Joy Cons, and she can use like the pro controller and like we would have a good time or something like that. But so much money, so I gotta I, I'll I'll think about getting it soon. Yeah. But um, I found out something interesting from one of my friends um about Mario Kart, and don't know how many of you know about this, but you know, again, game came out a couple years ago. I forgot what year. I think it was 2016. Um, so usually around now they would up uh make a new Mario Kart game, which kind of sucks because if if that was true, I literally just bought this game for no reason. I may as well have waited. But anyway. Turns out I'm lucky. In my scenario, I'm lucky. And they are not making a new Mario Kart. They're actually adding 48 new tracks. Um, I don't know. I don't know if all of them are new or if any of them are like newly created. But I heard a lot of them. I think are remastered tracks. You know, from older games. And there's mm-hmm. already quite a few of remastered tracks in the game, like from the DS, from the Wii, from the GameCube, etc. Um, but I think that's pretty cool. So it's like a new update. Um, I mean, it's it's DLC, really. Um, and I haven't bought DLC in years for a game. But this is one that I'm considering doing, even though I haven't had the game that long. I still think it would be awesome. Yeah. And my hope is that maybe there is like a... Unless it's known, but I, I don't know for sure. But my hope is then maybe there's more characters being added to and we're not being told about them. And then, like, you know, people are just going to start playing on these new maps and then start unlocking them randomly. So that would be really cool if if there's new characters. Like, for example, like, well, it's not really Mario Kart, then, if we do do this by saying, like, you know, what if they add Sonic or something? You know? But at the same time... I mean, they, they already have, have uh, people from, like, that Splatoon game. Not in, um... Called. Well, the game is called Splatoon, but they don't, um... Uh, maybe they do have I, I I mean I'm dumb like I don't know if they, they have him in the Mario Kart game I know that but they have they have Link so Link's mm. not a Mario character so I don't see why not they can't add Sonic and uh, a bunch of other Nintendo characters Um, like maybe some what's it called Um, Animal Crossing or some shit but um yeah, no, I, I, I'm I'm curious about it. I think that you have to pay money for it, of course, but I have the Nintendo Game Pass or whatever, so I sh- think people with that get it for free. I'm not positive, though. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it. Good, good. I mean, did you play Mario Kart a lot while growing up or no? I mean, yeah, but I always played by myself, so... I mean, that's what we did, too. I, I mean, I play with my brother sometimes, but for the most part, I play by myself. Yeah, it, it was, was okay. Like, damn. I don't know. I just had so many great memories playing. I think I also, honestly can't remember any memories. That, that's not true. But, what do you mean? But you, you remember stuff. I mean, maybe not from playing Mario Kart, but I'm saying like, you remember stuff. But we were talking about Mario Kart cart so okay so you meant mario kart specifically okay yeah um i i guess the reason why i also have really good memories is because well one me, me and my brother were really competitive playing and two um the other competitive scene was playing online so like once you finally you know got a little bored of the game after unlocking everything and beating all the maps um getting uh what you call it 
get I don't know. Go, going online and and uh, having your rank. That that was pretty um interesting. It's ha- so many people doing the same thing and like trying to see if you're better. Man, that was always insane. Mhm. And then like I didn't know this, but like they brought that shit back on like uh like on emulators or something because like you know at some point the the actual we stop supporting online play but i had no idea that that shit was still going on again i was like i was a kid so i didn't know back then but um i i still haven't played online yet with this newer game but when i get better because like i i'm i was really good at, at the wii version using the wii remote um using this with, with a joystick is something i didn't grow up playing mario kart with so like i know a lot of people like you know play double dash on the gamecube and like they were used to the joysticks from that, and every time I play Double Dash, I fucking suck. But now I'm getting the I I understand drifting a lot better. I was more of like the person using the motorcycles with the sharp turns on the Wii Remote, but doing the sharp turns in this game on the joystick just feels weird. I don't like it, so um, I just stick to the drifting. But um, yeah, I don't know. I just I just had a lot of memories with that. So, but. I do, I do plan on getting other games. Like Mario Kart's like one of those games that is really fun to play, but can get boring pretty quickly. Yeah. So I don't play it for that long. But man, the games are so expensive, so it's just like I can't really get them as soon as I want them. I gotta, mm-hmm. I gotta be smart with my money and space it out. Yeah. Ugh. But uh, with Mario, I mentioned Mario Party. Have you ever played Mario Party? Yes, and I was the one who told you to get it. <laughs> that, that's the but whole reason why you wanted to get it was because I said you should get it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just all right. I just wanted to. The, I wanted to spark conversation about it so you could go into it. I mean, I only ever played with my mom. It was <laughs> fun. But like, do I haven't you have played like, it in any, years. Do you have like any like favorite game modes from it or something? I I honestly don't remember. Bro. All I remember is you'd ride into a little cart, and then shit would happen. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like really tired all of a sudden. Bro, like, like I need a okay. nap. When are we doing the podcast? I'm like, sure, we'll do it right now. Okay. But you just rambled on for like 20 minutes about fucking Mario Kart. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm trying to talk about something. It's okay. It's just I don't, I wasn't sure where you were going with this, so it's just kind of like chilling here with my eyes closed. I was just talking about uh, memories and stuff, and why I, you know, the game in general just has a special place. Yeah. For me, at least. Is it worth the sixty dollars though? I don't think so. But no, I don't even remember how much the Mario Kart for the Wii was. I feel like they were cheaper, but I don't know. Oh shit, there's shit on my leg. Jack, what did you do? Now that's interesting. <laughs> how did how did you get shit on me? You just oh. massaged him so much he just pooped. <laughs> no, it's like on like the side of my leg though. Damn, it's like a bird poop. Yeah. My Anyways. god, it's funny that you just noticed that it's like crawling down your leg. No, I didn't it was all dried. How long ago did this happen? I don't know. You sure it's not your own shit? <laughs> no, it's definitely off of Jack's ass. Why is he's putting his paw on my foot? What? What? Am like, I bothering you? He's like, don't good. clean my poop. You're yeah, my territory. Think... No, thank you. But see, I think um just a quick mention about Jack. I don't want to talk about poop for that long, but there was uh a Wednesday I noticed that in the litter box there was a kind of like a wet poo and i said like i wonder if that's jack so well, the i also have that, two other cats so yeah but the fact that he's sitting on your lap right now and kind of the same thing i think happened i mean yeah it it's not on up. my lap though it's like under my knee like it's on my like the other right. side of my calf right so it, it but i'm just saying i'm assuming it, it had to be kind of like a wet poo in order for that to kind of happen I don't think it was there for, like, fucking days. I think it's just No, happened. I don't think it was there for days either. I think it's been there for, like, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes? Whatever. I don't know. I was just saying, because it was wet, but all right, whatever. Okay. Next topic. Is no, yours. We, 
<laughs> we can skip that for now. We can talk about it another time because I kind of went on a big rant about Mario Kart. Plus, so, I, don't think, I think it's a stupid topic, to be honest. I, I don't think it's going to... Well, you know what? I think you're <laughs> stupid. Thank you. I am. Fine. Fine. Such a sassy bitch. <laughs> I respect I... your topics, but you're going to just... like. Good. Okay, fine. Talk about your super auto pets and how you think it's going to be the next big eSport. Well, that's pretty much it. Yeah. I just think it's it's possible to become very competitive because there's a lot of strategy to it, a lot of thinking that could go into it. And there are a lot of, like, team comps you could come up with. For those of you who don't know what Super Auto Pets is, it's just pretty much like a strategy game with, um... It's a, it's a kind of, like, cute and strategy at the same time. Like, there's, like, animals that are drawn very cartoonish and whatnot. But, like, they all have different, like, abilities and attacks. I forgot what those kind of games are called, but it's, like, kind of similar to, like, Magic the Gathering and Hearthstone, in a sense, but not as complicated as those games. Yeah. But, um, like, everyone has, like, a certain amount of attacks and uh, defense. Um, and basically, it's like you have a lineup. At most, you get five animals fighting at once. Whoever has this, whoever's animals are remaining at the end of the battle moves on to the next round um you get like 10 lives or something in a a normal arena match if you run out of lives you're dead uh you don't lose one life always like as you get as you progress through the rounds you start losing more and more lives per per turn if you lose but if you win you obviously lose nothing and you win the game you win your arena or your game when you get like all 10 trophies so when you Mm -hmm. beat 10 people pretty much um and and there's a lot to it and you could there's a lot of buffs like there's different types of characters there's buffers there's attacks attackers healers um whatnot check it out it's free on steam um i think it just got released to ios too um it's been on android so the game is expanding so that's why i feel like because it's rapidly expanding i feel like it might become an esport and like I said, I mean, Hearthstone's already an esports, so I could see this becoming an esport, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Maybe, maybe it'll, it'll die down. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But that's all I really wanted to say about it. Okay. Thank you for not respecting my list. I let you talk about it, didn't I? But you still had to talk shit about it. I mean, super auto pets. Like, I, I don't think it's going to be I think be you're just big. mad because you're bad at it. I think I'm just tired, and I'm moody, and I'm hungry, and I don't have food, and I don't know what the fuck I'm going to eat for dinner. Well, maybe we shouldn't have recorded this right now. <laughs> it's okay. This um, is your idea, and now you're getting mad at me. You know what? Talk what? about your fucking Taco Bell. No, that, that literally the last next three are all you, so I'll, I'll okay. hear what you have to say first. Well... Albanese sugar-free gummy bears will make you shit like crazy. No, not Albanese. It's the, uh... No, it's Albanese. I thought it was the other one. No, you dumb fuck. It's not. It's not Hasbro. It's It's Albanese. It's not Hasbro. Hasbro's a game company. Haribo, whatever. Haribo. It's not Haribo. It's Albanese. Okay. Albanese sugar-free gummy bears. They're zero sugar, but they make you shit like crazy. Damn, it's nice. It's a nice detox. It is. You want something sweet, but you got to shit. Albanese is the brand for and you. You want to flush out your system, and you want to feel good about yourself. Yeah. Also, why do shows have their dogs called dog? I don't. I don't know this one. I don't know <laughs> either. It's weird. I think just the, I mean, it probably could be a character thing. Because, like, <sighs> for example, on The Walking Dead with Daryl calling dog dog, we originally thought Daryl named the dog dog. dog. And knowing the way Daryl is in the show, it just kind of sounds like a Daryl thing to do. Mm-hmm. But then we learned apparently it was someone else. Yeah. And then it now makes no sense. So it was I, his I actually. Lover. Yeah, Blink. potentially. Yeah. So I really don't understand it. And then Supernatural, they had another dog named Dog. I don't know what episode that was from, but 
It just it just seems like they're trying to like Wasn't not get Dean you a... the one calling him dog? No, it was Sam. Sam dude. And dog, again, it, it would dog. seem like like if, if I you know, like I said, if I had a guess, I would think it makes sense for Dean to come up with something like that, not Sam. Well the reason I think they're doing this is because something's gonna happen to the dog. So they think by not giving it a name you're not gonna get attached to it. That is true. So if the dog dies, it's just like, oh, it's just dog. Honestly, that might be the same thing with Walking Dead. But it's like, well, no, if Buddy dies, it's like, fuck, it's Buddy. He's so cute. We love Buddy, but it's like, oh, dog. I would, I mean, me personally, I would still be upset. Maybe. I don't, uh, I mean, I don't know if you remember from The Walking Dead, but there was that one scene where the wild pack of dogs were going to attack them, and they didn't have food. So, uh. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like that. Mimi. I'm gonna start calling mm. Mimi dog. He is a dog. I'm just gonna be like, dog. Okay. Come here, dog. <laughs> woof, woof, bitch. Um, yeah, he does woof a lot. Oh my god, does he fucking woof a lot. <laughs> <sighs> he woofs at you a lot. <sighs> he barks at a lot of dumb bitches too. He he barks at like anybody that comes here. Yep. He barks at any animals that come into the backyard. He Fucking at... dumbass, scared a little what? kitty away. I'm very yes. mad at him. Yes, and he also just literally barks at subtle noises that are going on outside, like when a a delivery truck is outside the house or out, not even outside our house. Literally, like, our neighbor's house. And he just goes... And he's yeah. going crazy. I'm like, dog, there's no one there. No one's bothering you. No one's bothering me. You don't have to worry. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. But, like, he's only been doing that, like, this past year. Like, starting this past year. He used to never do that. So, like, I don't know if it's just coming with old age for him. Or if it's... He's just getting else. stupid. Yeah, he's getting stupid. Um, Taco Bell review now. Yes. So when we originally were planning this episode, um, we had Taco Bell for the first time. And well, well I, I did. Yeah, you did. I I had it once before, but we were like, hmm, well, something small, and quick, we can eat now, and then have a bigger dinner later. And I said, uh, well, there's not really any healthy options. Uh, in the area, because we were at the mall, it's like, it's not really healthy options, but there is a Taco Bell, there is a Subway. So I never had Subway, and Amanda never had Taco Bell, and we both never had Popeyes. So we're like, hmm, which of the three? I had Popeyes. Oh, you did? Yeah, it was there. Oh, okay. I thought, I, I could have sworn that day you told me you never had it. No, I have. Did you have their biscuits? Because I heard that they were good. Dry. Hmm. They don't, they don't. They don't have, like, a, a honey glaze or anything on them? Not the one I had, didn't. <laughs> so, too dry to enjoy? Yeah. I'm very picky when it comes to my biscuits. Yeah, you'd rather have red lobster biscuits. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just bones. <laughs> I love red lobster biscuits. Texas Roadhouse rolls. Oh yeah, mommy. Okay. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to age age restrict this, like double age restrict. Okay. But honestly, but, yeah. I'd rather write like right this second, rather have red lobster biscuits Ooh, than uh, I don't know. Texas Roadhouse rolls. But like Texas Roadhouse rolls always come out like really hot and like so do the red Buttery. lobster. Bi- okay, not maybe always, not always. But like the red lobster ones have also gotten smaller, where the Texas Roadhouse ones have gotten bigger. Ooh, but so, are but with the Texas Roadhouse ones, even though they gotten bigger, are there more pockets of air on the inside, so it's really less? I don't less? think so. Mm. They're very good. Oh, I want to go get some now, but I'm lazy <laughs> and tired. <laughs> oh my god! This is god. why I need a. I need you to take care of me because I'm just tired and lazy and emotionally yeah. drained. She's had a hard day yesterday because yesterday we saw each other and we went to the gym and uh, she, she's burnt out from that probably. Yeah, I'm not used to it. I'm also yeah. a little sick from what we ate. 
Well, yeah. If only yeah. we bought enough salad, we wouldn't have had to resort to that. I know. Now we know for next time. I made but a pretty then, good. And we damn... said it last time, and then like it, we still come back to it anyway. I know, but I made a damn good steak, though. You did. Yeah. We had um Caesar salad with steak, and I never had like steak in a salad before. Mm-hmm. So Amanda introduced me to that, and it was pretty good. I really liked it. It's so weird how you had never had steak and also the way on she cooked, salad. The way she cooked the steak, I, I've never, at least I don't think I've ever had. Usually when I have steak, I, I assume it's grilled. But she just put it in a pan and put butter and garlic on it. Tastes yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Not crazy with seasoning, but just, just a little salt to, and pepper. Yeah, just enough to give it some flavor. And then mix it with the Caesar dressing and and whatnot, like mix it around in the salad. Pretty good. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> but yeah, Taco Bell was okay. I don't get the hype. Yeah. Yeah, so Taco Bell, I really wanted to try something. I don't know what it was called, like the uh like the uh cheesy cordilla crunch or whatever it's called. Something like that. And I didn't I mean maybe it's the different for each Taco Bell, but I didn't see it on their menu. So I kind of panicked in the moment and just said, you know, I'll just get the Doritos Locos Tacos. I got that the last time. I liked it. So I said, All right, I'll get it again. Yeah, I got the crunch wrap. Yeah. It was, it was pretty good. Yeah. I I it's... still, I just, I don't get all the hype. I mean, like I said, I said this before, like the day we got it, but I think for quick, like if you're if you're in the mood for like, you know, a taco or or a burrito or something, and you want something quick, I think Taco Bell's not bad. Like yeah. I've heard people say like, oh, it's so bad, you got shit, it, your brain's out. Like, I was completely fine. Should um, I get Moe's? Now I want a burrito. Think about it after we're done recording. Okay, sorry, I'm hungry um, now. Me, I'm just sick from what we ate. Me also want Moe's. A burrito. I mean, it's four o'clock queso. the next day. I, f- I feel like eh, I guess it could be a hungover. But um, hungover? I didn't get fucking drunk. No, but maybe <laughs> you're hungover from the food. I don't know. Maybe you have that. Maybe uh, hungover. Does right, those but... even deliver to me? Because I'm so mad about the whole other thing that happened yesterday. Grr. Let me finish what I was saying. Sorry. <laughs> keep doing this thing where you interrupt me when I'm in the middle I'm of explaining sorry, something. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I honestly don't know what I was saying, but... um. For what Taco Bell is, it's okay. Oh, yeah. Like, honestly, I feel like the... Honestly, like, when I was going to eat it, I thought I was expect going to expect worse quality, but it tasted pretty much average. Like, it, it tasted like what I thought I would get at a better restaurant. So, I guess a, I never had a good taco before. So that's why I guess I never. Uh, that's why I'm a little bit surprised, and that's why I'm thinking it's better mm-hmm. than it actually is. And the, honestly, there's probably better tacos out there, but I've never thought of a taco to be really that crazy. So yeah, eating Taco Bell just seems kind of average for me. What's the but, difference um, between a home wrecker and a regular burrito again? Are you doing this because you want to embarrass me, or are you doing this because you're trying to order right now? Because I'm trying to order right now. <laughs> Well, I said, can you do it afterwards? I'm sorry. I'm hungry. <laughs> but see, put your phone down. There. Because if you were really this moody, we shouldn't have done this. But we're almost done. It's almost been an hour, I think. I feel do like it's time. been like five hours. No, we started at 3.30. It's almost Did been we? an hour. Yeah. Really? Damn. Yeah. Okay. So... Please stop. So, <laughs> yesterday, we normally... Well, I don't think I should say the name of the place, because I don't know how... how uh, I think they're only in where we are. Yeah. So, but there's this certain um, restaurant, we like, and it's like Asian food, and we like getting from them a lot, and we're a frequent customer. So, like, literally the last two times we tried to order from them, something sh- screwy happened. Last week, we ordered from them, and we got uh, boba teas, and I also got their like spicy fries, which I love snacking on sometimes. 
So they fucked up my fries by adding like a shit ton of salt and barely any seasoning, like of the spicy seasoning. So I'm like, what the hell is this? I paid, you know, extra money for all this stuff and I got nothing. And for this place, which is kind of stinky, but like it's only 50 cents each. But you have to, if you want tapioca balls in your bo- boba tea, you have to add it for 50 cents. So like we both got a boba tea, so, you know, a dollar extra <laughs> in total. Um, I'm not, I don't care about paying that, but they forgot to give us the tapioca in both of our drinks. Um, one of the straws was in a wrapper and one of them wasn't. So that was yep. a little strange. Usually they both have them both as wrappers. We don't need utensils. Like we have utensils in the house, but they usually throw in a bunch of forks and chopsticks. If you, you know, want to eat that way, they didn't mm-hmm. give us anything. They didn't give us any napkins. So I was just like, what the hell is this? Like, they just kind of, like, bomb-rushed us. Um, and I forgot. I think there was one other thing. Oh, yeah. Amanda got, uh, whatever whatever she got. Uh, yeah, was yeah. Miss- missing some items from it. And we're just like, what the hell? Like, because, like, there were some pretty obvious things she put in there, like, like some mushrooms and um, a couple of other, like, you know, like, veggies and stuff. None of them were in there. It was just pretty basic. And I was just like, okay. So, it was very sad. She, so, like, I mean, uh, I asked Amanda, like, should we call them back and, like, have them take this back? And she's like, nah, forget it. But then, like, while we were eating, I didn't know, Amanda wrote a review because they have, like, a survey. Like, how were you pleased with your order? She said no, and she said everything I said. And then, like, literally not even a minute after she submitted it, got a phone call from the woman saying, like, oh, my God, uh, we're sorry. We're going to refund you your money because you order from us all the time. We know who you are. You guys are great. Yeah. Um, which was unexpected, but honestly, really awesome. So we got free dinner, even though they fucked it up on us. But still, it was free, so that was nice because they're not cheap. Yeah. And then yesterday, after we had our salad, we were like, okay, we're still kind of hungry. Like, like an hour later, we're like shit, we didn't buy enough food. So let's order. Uh, let's order. I almost said the name of the place. Let's order this um from this place again, um because it is kind of healthier. And um, we go, we pick out everything. We spend all this time planning, like, like 10, 15 minutes, like, what we want. We want to try some new things. And then all of a sudden, it says, you're out of range. And I'm like, what? So we thought it was maybe a mistake. Maybe the address got messed up. So we tried searching for it. The address isn't coming up. I'm like, what the hell is going on? And I literally saw some of the other addresses that were coming up. They're not that far away from where Amanda lives. Yeah. So I'm like, why the fuck are they delivering there but not to us anymore? And like I said, we always had no problem. Call them up. Amanda says the same thing I just said. Like we've never had a problem before. We literally ordered like three days ago. You know what what happened? And they're just like, Yeah, now we do it through DoorDash, so whatever DoorDash's radius is is what the new radius is. They have all this and- bullshit too about that though, is we went to the DoorDash website and we like typed it in and they said they would deliver, but they jacked up the price by every single item by like two or three dollars. Yeah. So I was like, fuck that shit. Yeah, like they're already pricey on their own. Then to pay yeah. three dollars extra for every single item on the menu is insane. Yeah. And then I'm pretty sure the delivery fee would also be like three or four the, bucks. Yeah. Like it's just uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause like I remember the I remember that this place did DoorDash in the past, and we never did it through DoorDash because we said, yeah, it's stupid. Like, they got their own delivery drivers and they have DoorDash. Let's just use their own delivery drivers because they are um, better. And the place is like only 10 minutes away from Amanda's house. So, yeah. for it to be out of range is just ridiculous. So, look, I know we might be like acting kind of entitled and lazy by not going to get it, but the fact that like DoorDash for some reason isn't going that far just seems really weird like i'm definitely like in a 10 mile radius from them you no, I'm you are because, sure so the thing is amanda's like 15 minutes from my house this place is like five minutes from my house going the same direction let's to amanda's see, house on. so they're this definitely place is they're definitely in if in i go to radius. directions does it say i'm 5.7 miles 
Yeah, like they can't deliver five, six miles. What the hell? It's a nine minute drive at the moment. And we're, we're off of a highway. So like it's literally going to take 10 minutes to get to, to her house because, you know, on the highway, you go 60 miles per hour or whatever. OK, going Not the opposite even. way. I'm sorry. From there to here, it's 12 minutes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 12 minutes. But still. That's only because they have to make a U-turn. And that's but. also considering the, the, the current traffic right now. Yeah. But I don't know. That That's ridiculous. I mean, it sucks that they got rid of their own delivery drivers. Means I don't, I don't know if some people got laid off because of that. Or if you know, some of the employees that do make the food also drive. I don't know. But... That, I, I don't know why they're just only doing DoorDash. And that kind of yeah. sucks. Because now now we're not going to order as frequently. Because there are days where we're lazy. And we're like, oh, we don't want to go out again. Because like, we were out like almost half the day yesterday. So that's yeah. why we didn't want to go out to the place to go pick it up. We wanted the order. Now they're going to lose more business, at least from us. Because we're not going to really want to always drive like the only way we're, we're going to get it now is we got to incorporate it into our plans when we're out for the day so like if we go to the gym we're gonna have to go pick it up right after the gym and then the problem is we like go to the gym a little early so then we're gonna have to pick up the food and then we're gonna have to eat it then or we're gonna hope that it's not shitty late waiting a couple hours and then eating it like yeah. we have to put it in the fridge or if it's something that's warm then we're gonna have to warm it up later it's just it's just be a little bit of an inconvenience now. And it's annoying because usually, well, it's like, you know, pizza places, Chinese places, whatever. Their maximum is like 10 mile radius. So the, yeah. it's just like the fact that they're not even doing that is just insane. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, they the woman on the phone claimed it was DoorDash's problem. And I don't know how true that is. I feel like when you sign up with DoorDash, you kind of have to, like, tell them how far away you want to deliver i don't know but well, when we went through doordash like the actual website it was fine but when we went through their website it wasn't letting us and we usually went through like the actual place's website oh right right, right. my bad so it's like my bad my bad my bad yeah i don't know it's in yeah, yeah. it's very sad because you know now I'm not going to be ordering from there as much. And I love their food. I love their boba tea. We're just going to have to. It's just going to make us. But like even if there. I just want it. Like. You're going to have to go drive and get it. I'm a lazy bitch. Or like knowing me. I'll give in and pay the three extra dollars for the fucking tea. Right now. <laughs> no I already placed my order for Moe's. Damn. Ugh, I'm so excited. Literally I said put the phone down. It doesn't fucking listen to me. It anyway. <laughs> I did. But then I was like shit. I'm really hungry. So, I ordered it. I got a good he gets burrito. Get mad at me when I was on my phone that one time we were recording. Literally, when did I get mad at you? I remember I was on my phone looking at um, what you call it? I don't oh my know. God. Oh my God! It was like one. Of, it was like our second episode. I was doing something at the same time. You got mad at me. Hmm. I don't remember. No proof. I'm trying to remember too. I I remember. It was, I don't know. I'm very hypocritical and I'm a brat and I'm a narcissist a little bit, according to my therapist. So. And with that, I think we're going to end the episode. <laughs> you can take that out of context however you like. Um, Damn. Anything else you want to talk about or mention? Um, I, I'm I mean, gonna... We had all of our topics. Uh, this has been about an hour long. Um, I think I am good for this episode okay well i hope you guys enjoyed again sorry for the delay hopefully it wasn't too boring with me get going a little off with uh, mario kart but um hope you guys enjoyed what we've talked about you know please feel free to give us feedback um i know we aren't too big right now on spotify and youtube but uh don't don't hesitate to reach out to us if, if you know how to contact us or if it's on youtube you know leave a comment let mm -hmm. us know you know we're always looking back for ways to improve like if this sucks let us know like we'll, we'll try to figure out a better way to to make this more entertaining right yeah um and again if you really really want to see the videos like us playing games and stuff yell at us because if we know people are demanding it we might stop being little bitches about it you're a little bit <laughs> a little bitch 
I'm not going to argue. Okay. All right. This has been the Knuckleheads Podcast. We will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.